hello um so i'm going to be reflecting on my overall experience during student teaching so first of all the um, three most important things i think that i learned throughout my student teaching experience would be one um, that discipline is something that is very hard um, at least it is for me um, i remember the first time i had to give a detention it was an awful feeling and i was worried that my students were gonna hate me and um, the students' friends weren't gonna respect me and then they wouldn't listen to me anymore. Um, but that wasn't the case. So the takeaway is, yes, discipline is hard, but that it's very necessary and students won't think less of me as a teacher for doing it. Um, in fact, the student that I ended up giving a detention to, um, him and I had a great relationship by the end of the semester and that kind of opened up some communication between us. Um, the second most important thing that I take away from my experience in student teaching, especially at the secondary level, is that teenagers have a very limited attention span. Um, I would say a lot of that's attributed to things like TikTok or just time on the internet. Um, so it's essential to make things kind of fast paced in the classroom or change it up often. Um, I can't always just stand up front and talk at students because I will lose them. They'll have no interest. Um, so that's definitely something that I had to keep in mind. And then the third most important um, takeaway that I had is that as a teacher, you can't try to be something that you're not. Um, I had an awesome opportunity at Living Word to observe lots of different teachers apart from just science teachers. And um, a lot of them did so many cool things and I liked them and respected them for it, but they didn't quite work for me. Um, some people did more like personal storytelling and things like that. And that's just not really who I am. And so it was kind of cool to get to experience my own style of teaching and kind of develop that. Um, something that surprised me about student teaching is how much fun I had every day. Um, honestly, it didn't feel like work or a chore or anything. I never woke up and thought, oh, I don't want to go to school today. I genuinely enjoyed being there. Um, and I've kind of heard some horror stories or not so good things. So um, maybe I'm just an oddball out, but I thought that was a really cool piece of it that I just enjoyed my time there so much. Um, a couple, A couple of difficulties that I ran across throughout this experience. One was that um, some students just don't care. And that's hard for me being someone who's very on top of things and cares probably too much, especially about school and my grades and being a perfectionist. Um, and so I took a lot of that on myself as a teacher when students would do poorly. In some cases, yes, um, there are things that I recognized I needed to do better at and adjusted and went on from there. But in a few instances, there were just a couple of students here and there who didn't turn in work for that unit and then did poorly on the test because of it. And I had to learn that that's something I can't blame myself for. Um, and finding interesting ways to motivate and encourage students to stay engaged in class has been a unique challenge through that experience. Um, and then another difficulty, as I mentioned it before, is discipline. Um, but pointing back specifically to that very first time I gave a detention, it was to a student who both of his parents work at the school and he's well liked by lots of students, great athlete. And I was kind of worried that I was going to be uh, looked down upon by maybe other teachers or things like that. Um, but the principal actually came up to me and she commended me for it and said, thank you for enforcing the rules. Um, and it's just something that, although it's not fun to do, it's necessary and I got to keep that in my head and not just let things slide, especially when uh, it comes to a matter of safety, which in this case was the reason for the detention. Um, honestly, this student teaching experience was a lot easier than I expected it to be. I've heard a lot of horror stories and had roommates and friends go through long nights of lesson planning and grading, um, but I think I can attribute my uh, ease in the process to the amazing cooperating teacher I had in Tanner Schmidt. He was amazing, as well as the staff at Living Word. They were so supportive. Um, I also found it beneficial to plan very often um, and early if able to. And the third thing that I think made it easier is despite all the negative things I've heard about 
teaching or education, um, I just kind of let it roll off and didn't let it get to me. And I think that helped a lot. Uh, reflecting on standard 11 through the portfolio process, the um, applying to Christian servant leadership. Um, in every single class that I taught, we began with prayer and I allowed students the opportunity to give prayer requests or pray if they wanted to. Um, I've yet to have a student take me up on the request to pray, but my hope is that we'll get there through some more relationship building that, because thankfully I get to stay at Living Word. Um, but I noticed a shift in the culture as I've asked for prayer requests, more students become comfortable sharing. Um, another thing that I've tried to do is bridge the gap between science and religion as much as I can without trying to force it. There are some things where, yes, it's good to point out that this was created by God and so on and so forth, but not to just shove that down their throats too hard, um, but apply it when reasonable to do so. Um, and also using faith as a great way to make connections and distinctions throughout lessons. Um, because science is kind of tricky, so helping uh, students understand through that has been a great way I've been trying to incorporate my faith through my lessons. Um, in terms of student teaching, what I was best and least prepared for, I think I was best prepared in my content area um, and how to deliver it. I went through so many different classes in science at Concordia and got to experience a lot of di different teaching styles. And I found things that worked for me, um, but also I found some things that didn't necessarily work for me, but might work for others. So I think that was awesome that I had all those tools to be able to use. And um, something that I was least prepared for, as I mentioned before, was for uh, the students who just simply didn't care or try. I'm not used to that personally, so experiencing that through others was a challenge. Um, and if I were to give any advice to those going into student teaching this next semester, it would be to over-prepare for your lessons. Um, I taught block classes and it was my first experience with the block class and it went by so fast. All the content that I had, I thought I had so many things ready and then all of a sudden I was out of material and had time left. So over-plan, if you can't get to everything, that's okay. Um, so I think that wraps up everything for this first general reflection.